We did it, guys. We made a million subscribers. That's right. Me and you and you and you and you and you and you and you. All of us together did this. All right. You guys know, and I've told you this from the beginning, but just in case you don't remember, I could not have done any of this without your help. Without each and every single one of you coming together to be the baddest group of motherfuckers on the internet, I could not have done this. So, you guys are amazing. I love you. And I came out here. Look, you, you guys, you know, guys don't even know what this is. Look, look, this is where I used to work. All right. This is what I used to do day in and day out. Too many hours, 50, 60 hour weeks. All right. Too much work. Just killing myself. All right. Just look behind me. See this? This is the, this is the airport here. This is a. Uh, this is Heyco. It was Timco when I worked here. They changed the name since I left. But this is it. This is what I used to do every day. Let, let's, let's zoom in. Look. Let me get out of the damn shot. Look. See? Shit is garbage. Shit is garbage. Nobody wants to do that. All right? Nobody wants to do that when you can sit home and play video games. All right? To just, to just live my life the way I want to live it and not have to have somebody up in the damn mahogany row sitting at a desk up there telling me what I need to do, when I need to do it. It's, it's amazing. Most people don't get to chase their dreams. Most people don't don't get to live the life of fantasy and all this shit. And I'm lucky enough to do that. I really am. And a few years back, a friend of mine, I don't know if you might have heard of him. His name's H2O Delirious. He said, hey, man, why don't you start a channel? All right. Why, I mean, we're, we're all doing this big thing. Why don't, why don't you start a YouTube channel and do it with us? And I said, dude, I got a career. All right. I, I do something for a living every day and I don't have time to do that shit. All right. Fast forward two years. And he's this super hyper successful YouTuber and I'm still fucking shooting rivets in planes doing formulas to figure out material loss and corrosion and all that shit. That's what I'm doing. And I'm thinking I might be doing something wrong. Like what the fuck? So I went home and I started my channel on a shitty little iMac with no equipment, no knowledge, no skills. And I just did it. I just started posting videos. Delirious helped me out. He pushed real hard at the beginning and got me a nice kicking the fucking ass and uh he got me he got me a, a good start he got me ahead of the game delirious helped me out he uh before i even had enough enough equipment to do anything with he he hooked me up and he said you know what if you want to do this thing i'll hook you up he bought me microphones he bought me recording devices capture devices he he hooked me up he really did he got me uh he got me started he got me set up to be able to do real things all right then i put i put the time i put the effort the channel grew all right. Uh, once I could, once I started making a little money doing it enough to, to upgrade my equipment, I bought a new PC, um, which allowed me to play PC games, which I couldn't do before. Um, right around that time, I was all I was waiting on. Look, when I was working here, all I was doing was counting the days to where I could quit this bitch and do YouTube full time. All right. And it was hard. It was really hard. And finally, one day I was like, you know what? I made almost as much this month as I did working. I said, if I quit, I think I can do it and push even harder. Boom, I did it, and here we are now. I quit this job December 17th. December 17th, 2014. I walked out of this bitch. That's right, I walked out, and I never looked back. I mean, I'm back now, obviously, because <laughs> I've had a taste of freedom. You guys have given me a taste of freedom and uh, showed me what it's like to be able to just blaze my own path. And I've had all these opportunities. I've traveled. I've seen all these places. I've got to meet you guys, which is amazing. Like, <sighs> this is hard to explain to people who, who aren't, who haven't done it. But I never in my life thought that I would sign an autograph, right? The only thing I ever thought I might sign was the back of my paycheck, right? Or, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, your your fucking tax papers or something. No one. I never thought that my signature would be worth anything to anybody. And yet, here we go, I go out and people want to take pictures with me and they want my autograph. And it's, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Honestly, I feel like I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. I mean, there's, there's a lot of YouTubers out there and there's a lot of people that are bigger than me. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, I was talking to somebody, I think Syndicate uh, on Twitter. Um, I know I just got a million and that's a drop in the bucket to a lot of the bigger YouTubers nowadays because you know, everybody's taking off. But it's my bucket. All right, that's a drop in my bucket right now. So I own the damn bucket now. I'm happy as hell. And can't nobody take that away from me. I love it. I love all you guys. I love just... I would love to be able to do this more, to vlog, to just talk and ramble. Because, I mean, this is fun. If you can't tell, I kind of upgraded my setup. That's right. This, this whole vlog setup is, uh, is new. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and admit, I stumbled across... I'm probably late. See, and look, before we even go there, look. As a YouTuber or somebody that creates content, 
I hardly watch any content anymore. Like, if I'm on YouTube, I'm either checking my stats and making sure everything's good, or I'm uploading a video or whatever. I, I very rarely just get on there to br just browse, you know what I mean? Just have fun and relax, because I've always got stuff going on. I don't only have time to do all that, so. Um, that being said, I stumbled upon Casey Neistat, or Neistat, I don't know, he's a, he's a big vlogger. Um, started watching a lot of his stuff. I just, I was blown away by the quality and just the, how he edits and just the flow of everything he does. So I just, I don't know, I found myself looking at more and more of his stuff and uh, looked at his camera setup and I realized we had the same camera. So I got the lens he used and put it on my camera and lo and behold, here we go. So this is, this is pretty much his camera setup. Um, so shout out to him for helping me come up with something that looks better than <laughs> holding my damn iPhone. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a professional vlogger, all right? I'm not a professional video game player. I'm not really a professional at anything. I'm just a scrub trying to get through day to day. Uh, all I know is I'm lucky enough to have some reason made it. You guys like watching me do dumb shit and play dumb shit for some reason. And see, sometimes, I know this, is, this may be a weird problem to have, but sometimes I struggle. I really do, and I'm being honest with you guys. Like, I feel bad because people I grew up with, or even, like, people that used to work here, or that I still know that I'm friends with and whatnot, they bust their ass day in and day out for people that don't appreciate them, people that don't give a shit about them as a person. All they want is a bottom line or a number. They want productivity. They want something to just, we need you to do this, 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 right now. That's all they care about. And at the end of the day, they don't care about them as a person and here I am living the dream doing what I want to do and being successful at it And I just wish everybody could do it. I really do I feel so bad because everyone looks at me and they're like, oh god Look how look how successful cartoons got look how successful Luke is and I mean I put the work in and whatnot, but honestly, it's luck. It's 90% luck. I'm just one of the luckiest people in the world. I, don't, I mean really I don't know how to explain it luck I got lucky and I wish everyone could get lucky and I feel guilty because of my luck sometimes. I mean, I don't know if that's a stupid, if that's a stupid thing to say. I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't really know. All right, I don't, I didn't take PC classes. I don't know how to be, how to be, uh, really, who, who trains on what to say in a situation like this? I have no idea. All right, I never thought I'd be giving this speech in a million years, that's for sure. But all I know is if anybody that I grew up with or anybody that I know in person is watching this, I'm still me, all right? Fame or whatever you want to call it will never change who I am. I love each and every one of you the same as I did yesterday and as much as I will tomorrow. All right, guys? Um, Luke is Luke, and that's how it's going to be. Um, I try to put that through in my videos and my content. Like, I don't try to put on some bullshit persona. I don't try to, you know, be fake and what that. I am what I am. And, you know, that doesn't please everybody, and that's fine. See, because YouTube isn't for everybody. Like, there's different channels. If you like this, you can go there. If you like that, you can go over here. If you like what I do, you can sub to me. You don't have to. See, and that's what's beautiful. So that's why I want to try to be me and I want to try to be real because I don't want to I don't want to fill my channel full of people that think I'm something that I'm not. All I want to be is real. And I hope that comes through to you guys. This is like this is like prison. Look. How This is like prison. I'm so glad that I'm out of this fucking prison. Look at this shit. Ugh. God, I'm lucky. I love this. Freedom! Freedom! I bet people in there right now that are going, look at this fucking asshole Luke out here running his mouth. They're probably gonna call the cops on my ass. <laughs> look, I watch people's vlogs, people's videos. Oh, I hit a million. Look, I'm gonna go jump out of a fucking airplane or I'm gonna go do this or I'm gonna go do that. I don't do that type of shit. I live in the middle of North Carolina. There's nothing exciting going on where I am. You know what I mean? I can't go to the fuck to down the street to a casino or fucking up. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, all right? This is my life. I'm not an extravagant guy, you know what I mean? I don't need a whole bunch of stuff. I don't mind keeping it low key, all right? I don't need to do nothing crazy to show you guys, oh, look, I'm excited for a million subscribers, because guess what? I'm fucking excited for a million subscribers, all right? I don't need to fall from way up there to prove that to you, all right? See this? Look. That's me right now. These are my feels. This is how I feel. And there I go. There I go. All right. I'm on cloud nine. I lost the plane. I lost the plane. It's somewhere up there. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are expecting, and I hope this isn't disappointing to you, but I just wanted to be real. You know what I mean? I don't need a bunch of flashy editing. I don't need a bunch of 
bunch of flashing lights and a bunch of crazy ass activities to prove, oh my God, look, oh, I hit a million, I'm amazing. I don't need all that, all right? I love you from the bottom of my heart and that's real, all right? That's real emotions, that's real feelings and it's from me to you. Each one of you guys are important to me. Even the ones of you that talk shit, if you talk shit and you're still subscribed, hey, let's talk shit. I'm gonna talk shit back probably. It is what it is, all right? I love you all just the same and uh, I just hope you stick around. Let's do another million, all right? Let's get to two, three. I gotta catch up with these boys, all right? They're leaving me behind. We can't have that. I gotta do something about it. So if you're gonna take anything away from the video, take this, my heart, because that's what you have, all right? I love you from the bottom of it. See, here's the top, here's the bottom, right under my nipple, right there. <laughs> I love you from right there, the bottom of my heart, and that's real. All right, guys, you're the best, you know that. I love you, and uh, I'm just gonna end it here. I don't know what else to do. I'm not gonna put an outro on this shit. I'm not gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna cut the video, all right? So, uh, let's do the damn thing. <laughs> love you guys. Lighter.